Well, have you ever heard of a sushi sandwich? How about sushi nachos? Ever heard of them? I have not. All right, well, this is your lucky day, Mel, because those are just some of the menus or items on a menu at a spot in Madison Heights. Michelle Oliver is here with the scoop for Takeout Tuesday. Guys, Sushi Ku has grabbed viral attention for the unique ways it's serving up its sushi dishes. I'm joined by Johnny Vo. He's a manager at the restaurant. Welcome to the show. Thank you. All right, so let's start with the viral sensation, the item that really stands out on your menu. This is your sushi sando. Tell yes, us sushi about sando. it. So sushi sando, um, when you look at it, it, it is a fried bun. Um, the, the, rice, the rice patty is actually sushi seasoned rice and is pressed into a piece of nori or dried seaweed. And then it gets coated in panko and then deep fried. And nice. then um, for the base of it, you have jalapeno cream cheese, creamy avocado, seaweed salad, uh, cucumbers, crab salad, and you can choose whatever kind of um, proteins you want. We have, we have salmon, tuna, those options are raw. And for cooked options, you have the spicy shrimp and fried shrimp tempura. Oh, I like that. They have both a cooked and yeah, raw so options. It's kind of a this. texture thing. If people don't like it, they're able to have a cooked option as well. Yes, no, that's awesome. And so, yeah, the, the rice is acting as your bread substitute. Exactly, yes, yes. That's very cool. Now, you also offer a twist on nachos. Can you show us how to make these sushi nachos? And this is the, this is the start for it, right? Yeah, of course, yeah. So this is, I'm, I'm going to be biased towards this because it is my recipe. Oh. Um, I started it off because I saw people doing... Um, their own take on fusion food. Yeah. So I was like, kind of like the sushi burrito. I was like, oh, it's just kind of a really big hand roll. So what I did is that I took um, elements of like Mexican, not really Mexican cuisine and try to mix the both of them. So I added homemade salsa as well. Nice. And on top of that, I so also- So this is the crab, right? Crab yeah. salad? So we have crab salad and the spicy shrimp mix. Spicy Ooh. shrimp mix with the crab salad as well. Nice. That's gonna come with um, also spicy meal mixed into it as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I guess top with that. And then for your more refreshing ingredients, we have- Ooh, some mango. Diced mango. And edamame. Some edamame, so like, kind of like soybeans. And then I also get a little bit of red onion and then some jalapenos as well. Nice, so I'm excited for the spice that's gonna come, or the, the sauces, because that's kind of what makes uh, a nacho a nacho, is like that cheese sauce on top of that kind of. Yeah, so um, we don't put any dairy because some people aren't able to eat dairy. Fair. So um, they also have the option of putting jalapeno cream cheese. We also have the option of regular cream cheese as well, Ooh. if you'd like, but um, we also make our salsa in-house as well. Um, I'm from California, OC. I've learned from a Mexican lady I used to work with. She's taught me how to make salsa verde, mango habanero. She taught me some of her uh, salsa rojo. Um, recipes. So this is one of the ones that she showed me. So I, kudos to Amelia. Yeah. <laughs> Amelia. Thank so, you, Amelia. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to be drizzling this on into the nachos right here. Oh yeah, and this is the mango habanero. Yes, mango habanero. So it's it's pretty Ooh. sweet. It has a, it also has a taste of mango, but also the taste of the spice from the habanero as well. That's awesome. Now, people can also customize their orders. Yes. What are the options for your poke bowls and your sushi bowl? Yeah, sushi so bowls. Um, you can do, if you want, you can do all rice, all salad, half rice, half salad. You can do all cooked, all raw, whatever you want. Nice. Yeah, if we have it, we can make it for you. You can also make it gluten-free, like this one for mm -hmm. Miss Tati over here. Well, if I do, and thank then, you. This you looks wanna, awesome. Which, what do you want to try, Melanie? Oh, what is this one right here? This one? That's our battle bowl. So that comes, like, best of both worlds. You get the raw option, but also you have the cooked option as well. The cooked option is going to be the fresh and tempura. Oh, and it's a little spicy so with the spicy meal. Good. It's not too spicy. It should be a good balance in between. Okay, nice. okay. It smells okay. amazing. Now, can we request some forks from someone? Well, well, I'm yeah, we'll looking <laughs> like, I'm looking, oh, yeah. I look like I, I could just go forks. like this. But yes. yeah, just dive in with your mouth, Tati. So, but these look just, good. Yeah, let's talk about the drinks. Yeah, so um, Sushi Ku, um, how it started out was that we, the original hustle or job that we were supposed to do is Presto Tea. That's, uh, that's a brand from Taiwan. We were kind of looking for a location and we saw Sushi Ku that was up for sale. So we took uh, over the business from our last owner, Jack. So he, we're just kind of carrying on his legacy, but pretty, pretty soon we're going to be introducing Presto Tea. There's going to be milk teas, uh, fruit teas, um, Taiwanese teas. There's also Ooh. blended coffee, blended smoothies as well. Um, so good. And you can have them less sugar, it's pr pretty much customizable, less sugar, less creamer, however you like. That's awesome. Everything yeah. looks delicious, it I gotta is. say. So where can people find you so they can try all this delicious So food? we're gonna be in the corner of the Quinder and 12 Mile in Madison Heights. Nice. We're right next to the Little Caesars, can't miss us. Awesome. Yeah. Well, this looks amazing. I, I will find us forks later yes, so we can dive in. Yes, because we need to dig in <laughs> and try this. Looks amazing. Thank you Thank so you. much. Yeah, no problem.